Good morning, everyone. My name is Ms. Gale. I'm the main art teacher at Wickham Elementary and also travel to Alexander here in the Iowa City Community School District. Today is just a quick video for our sub for the lesson that we've been working on. Now, last week we started on super sandwiches. If there are students who were not here last week, I have extra papers ready to go for them. Um, so we're gonna look over kind of what we did last week and then explain where we should be today and also do a quick little cleanup so we make sure everybody knows what they should be doing at the end. So, we're gonna check out our board up here. And we have been working on our super sandwiches. So what we talked about last week and what students did with just pencil only is they started at the top. We wanna to start at the very, very top of the paper because we have to have all of our ingredients overlapping. As long as we start at the top, and we draw coming out of the very first ingredient, then those overlapping foods will make our sandwich look nice and full and delicious. So we start at the top, we make sure all those ingredients are overlapping and we don't have floating sandwiches, and then we draw all the way to the bottom. So student sandwiches today, when they receive them, should look like this one does, just pencil. Next, we'll trace all of our pencil lines in Sharpie and students will need to use an eraser and take their time to erase all those little pencil lines from the first sandwich to the second. Well, it'll be your same sandwich, but you see the two examples on the wall. And then lastly today, we will be using watercolor paints to fill these in. Now watercolor can spread really easily if we use too much water. So today we want to load our brushes nice and light and carefully paint one thing at a time. Now my students are very good with watercolors and we've used them a lot this year. So I expect that they know how to properly use our brush and that they will fill in their papers all the way. If you don't get done today, no worries. We will finish them up another day. So yet again, start at the top. Draw overlapping, draw all the way to the bottom, trace in Sharpie, erase pencil marks, and paint. Now when we're done today, I expect that the sinks look just like they do now. The water cups need to be nicely cleaned out and put upside down, and the paint brushes need to go back in the cups with the same size. We're going to be using our newer, nicer brushes today so we can get those really good details, so take good care of them. Make sure we don't leave any cups in the sink like this. Although this is a really good example of how much water we need in our cup. Just about a pinch of water. When your brushes are clean, and I can double check this one is here. Oh, there's looks like there's a little red that came out. Good thing I was double checking. But once we're all cleaned up, we'll make sure we get all the extra water out and place the brushes with bristles up so they stay nice. Dump our cup. If you need to rinse again, you can, but most of the time we're pretty fine on that. And then here we go. Nice clean sinks. If we're gonna wash the tables today, we should only be using the small hand towels, not paper towels. We don't wanna waste those. And paper towels are in the bins if you need them as well. Alrighty. Thank you so much for subbing today. Everyone who is here needs to be very kind and respectful. Make sure that we're listening and cleaning up well. Have an awesome day. All right, see ya.